Okay, so today I'm going to show you this 2001 Sunseeker Superhawk 50. And as you can see, she's like a bullet. Look at that. Super, super sexy, super fast, super Sunseeker. I'm going to show you the triple engines, the triple drives, and some really, really nice features. This boat is unbelievable. Now normally I don't film in the wind and the dull day we've got. It's a bit dull today, isn't it, Guy? It is, yeah. But we're gonna have to just do it. We have to just go for it. And before we start, don't forget to, to uh, press that subscribe button if you're enjoying the silly video. So let's go and have a look. Okay, I bought this boat off a gentleman that had her from nearly new and he kept her in a heated shed so although it's 20 no, it's 2001 so it's 21 years old this is the best example i've ever seen and as you can see it's got the lovely blue hull it's got teak side decks the blue hoods and it's got the triple yanmar 440 horsepower diesels which i'll show you in a minute but this boat is built for speed. So come and have a look. Come on board, follow me. You've got this little narrow walkway here. And come on board. We've got this lovely sociable area here. You've got the sink there and you've got just cupboard space here but look how narrow the boat is can you just see how narrow it is look if I put my arms out look this boat is all about speed so I think the most interesting part is the dashboard so let's have a look at that so here's the dashboard and the thing I love the most is have a little look you got triple sun seek ignitions one two three obviously one per engine you've got triple forward neutral reverse levers forward neutral reverse and then you've got triple throttles god that's flat out but there's a little button on here that not many people know about because this boat has got surface piercing drives which means the propellers are half in the water and half out of the water, which gives the boat less drag and it goes faster. But when it gets up to 30 knots, you've got to press a button. This button here changes the speed from one speed to, into gear two in the gearbox. Now, not many people know that, but what happened when I sold it to one of my customers, who we're now selling it for, he phoned me up, he said, James, he said, the boat only does 30 knots. I said, have you pressed the magic button up here? He said, no. So he got up to 30 knots, he pressed the magic button, and this boat then just goes into intergalactic overdrive. This boat will top out at 52 knots. And we might have some of that video, which we'll show you, because this boat really does fly. The fuel consumption flies too. Um, if you're doing about 50 knots, you could be looking up to 300 litres or even more per hour. But on most general use, you'll be doing about 200 litres per hour if you're not thrashing it around and abusing it. If you also look over here, Guy, we've got all the latest instruments. We've got touchscreen Ray Marine. We've got two of those. We've got a smaller one there. I love the triple rev counters. Look, this one here is stuck at 2,000. What are you doing, mate? Just zooming in, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> Triple rev counters. Uh, this one's stuck at 2,000. You've got, obviously, the water, the temperatures, all in triple. And it's so unusual to see a boat with triple engines. So I absolutely love it. This boat is in original condition with a few minor modern upgrades. I mean, how cool is that dash? I mean, how cool? Now, you don't get a shout window, 
but all of this comes off and you have a fully convertible super cool super trendy massive shout window so let's go down below right i want to show you the inside now you don't buy this boat if you want space god you hear that plane there's one plane a day and it comes over right now that south end airport by the way so you don't buy this boat if you want speed right sorry you, you sorry you buy it if you want speed you don't buy it if you want space come have a look come right in so we've got this lovely seating area now i remember when this boat was at the london boat show it might have been Ells court it might have been it might have been Ells court it might have been excel and i remember coming in here and just thinking wow look at the opulence of this look at the woodwork look at all the finishing look at the hinges look at the seats with the headrests this is called cherry gloss but it's just so rich and beautifully made you'd never choose blue velour these days for seats but doesn't it look good it just looks fantastic now while i'm sat here the engine control, so not the engine, the battery control buttons are here. Do you have a little look at that? Do you have a little peek? Come over and have a little zoom in. That's where the engine, con sorry, the battery controls are. You've got a heads in here. You've got a, a galley here, which, God, is a bit of a joke, to be honest. We've got a little sink. See the sink? I think we've got a microwave in here. My phone case, we've got a two burner hob, and down here we've got why would you have it? Oh, it's a coffee maker. God, that's old fashioned, that's as old as the boat. And what else here we got? The cutlery and crockery. Let's see if they've got some secret written on them. Oh, yes, <laughs> look at that. Now, you'd buy this boat. You see that, Royal Dalton? Isn't that nice? I'd buy this boat just for that. Well, I did buy this boat, but not for that. Um, and then I'll go forward to the, uh, we'll show you the master cabin. Right, come in the forward cabin and the fun continues. Now, you know, there's not a lot of space, but you could certainly do a weekend on this boat Look, I can touch the ceiling pretty easily from the bed, look. It's not claustrophobic, but it's not massive. But it's all beautifully made like the rest of the boat. So it sleeps two of you. It's got a wardrobe. Let's have a look at the wardrobe. Yeah, just normal wardrobe. I love the teak floor. Don't you love the teak floor? Oh, by the way, so apologies. Just got normal socks on today. Little, oh, look at the cabinetry in here. Look at that, that's really nice, can you see it? It's a lovely little cabin, definitely very little. This boat's got heating by the way. Look at the teak floor. Isn't the teak floor lovely? All the detailing on that. Right, next we're gonna go to the heads. Let me walk past you there, keep filming. I'm gonna show you the heads. You take a seat there and I will it's a hood bag, but we've got a little heads. Have a little look in there. Don't know where the light switch is, but nice little heads. Nice toilet, all beautifully made. Little sink and a mirror. Okay, so let's go and see the engines. Okay, so I'm now going to show you the engines. Guy, can you press that button to lift this hatch up for me? Can I have a look? So, look, how did they squeeze three Yanmar 440 horsepower diesels in this space? If you just pass me the camera a second, Guy. I'm just going to show a couple of bits. 
So they're the engines. We've got number one over here, two and three. The middle one is sunken. Can you see how it's sunken? I love the way they also paint the uh, engine bays red on these Sun Seekers. These are 440 horsepower each. So we've got 1,280, 1,320 horsepower. Now that is proper, look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. So, that's why this boat goes so quick. But it's so narrow that that must have been a nightmare having to build this boat with these engines. Just don't see them these days. Absolutely love it. This boat is all about fun and looks and speed. What's wrong with that? I think it's an absolute corker. But there's one more thing I want to show you before we get absolutely soaked because it started to rain. Is I just want to show you the um, surface piercing drives. We'll wrap it up down there. I'm getting unfit. I'm getting unfit because I've just come down from there jump down and I feel good. Right, this boat is really one of a kind. They don't make them like this anymore, but I've left the best till last because what people love about this boat the most is the rooster tail. These surface piercing propellers a half in the water and a half out when you're going a great speed and it leaves a massive great rooster tail of white spray in fact on the south of france loads of customers like the rooster tails they have them on the mangustas and all the rest of it so if there's one reason to buy this boat it's because it's got a rooster tail and there's nothing wrong with that got a little sink this thing. I think we've got a microwave in here. Got some crunchy nut clusters. Oh, I like those. Oh, they're in date. I'll have those for later.